Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. I'd like to talk about Spreadshirt once more, talking about the print-on-demand challenge, challenge I've taken on on this channel with my wife's Spreadshirt account. Um, basically, she's doing it because she needs to learn it as well. But um, essentially, as a summary, we've created a, a new Spreadshirt account for my wife in my wife's name because she wants to get into print-on-demand as well. And we decided to make this a little bit um, fun to you know, also document this on this channel and um, thought it would be particularly interesting with the Spreadshirt Star Academy because the Star Academy is fairly new and there have been a, there's been a lot of discussion about the Star Academy. So obviously when we started that account, it, it started as Star Class 1. That has changed now and bear with us um, to find out which Star Class that account has been put into. The Star Class 2 is obviously after Star Class 1 the next possible one that you can get into or star class three. So you can either get into star class two or three. Um, the advantage of three is clearly that you can publish 500 designs. With star class two, you can only publish 200, which will then take you longer um, to get to star class four or five because you need 100 sales to get into one of these two. Now, however, to be honest, it doesn't really matter that much if you're star class four or five, because the only difference really is with Star Class 5 that you get access to exclusive events and a Facebook group. Um, it would be interesting to get access, but to be honest, that is the only difference. It shouldn't make any have any impact on sales, I believe. Um, I think it, from that point of view, it might be very hard actually to get into Star Class 4 if they have like an exclusive group. I'm not sure, but um, I guess if you are Star Class 3, then you should also get into Star Class 5 as long as you have received your 100 sales. Now, what do we have? What's actually the reason of, um, or why would you be put into star class two and not three? Now they say they put you into star class three if at least five of your designs are considered unique and inspiring. Now, if not, if, if not five are unique and inspiring, they'll put you into star class two. So what happens is you start with 10 designs and from that they decide if more than half of that, or at least half of that, is unique and inspiring, you can get into Star Class 3. So, what has happened with this account? Because I told you in the previous video that they were reviewing the designs we have uploaded. And I am also told you that I'm going to show you the designs which I'm going to take now. Now, let's have a look. First of all, before we start, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I am really disappointed. Let's have a look. Which tells me, actually that it's really hard for anyone to get into Star Class 3, especially as a beginner. I mean, I'm not, I don't think I'm a beginner anymore, but I'm, I'm also not a print-on-demand expert, but still, I thought it would be achievable. It is obviously not. This account has been put into Star Class 2. And we're gonna have a look at the designs now and what happened because it only shows nine instead of 10 designs. So what happened here? These are the designs. First one is this, never underestimate an old man with a motorhome. Still found it quite cool. To be honest, it's not very, um, it's not a unique niche or anything, but I think compared to some other um, motorhome designs out there, it is, it is pretty cool. So I would wear that myself if I was a grandpa. The next one, I thought I'd pick a niche which is not that, um, yeah, oversaturated looking at the wolf dog niche. Now that's just a text-based design. Maybe that's the reason why they did not consider that unique or inspiring, even though that niche is really a really small sub niche of the dog niche. The next one, I don't understand. They rejected because of copyright. I need to follow up with them. That is not in any way copyright infringing. Um, I don't know if you, if you know why, let me know, but, um, I will send them an email about that. I found that a pretty cool design also in the pixel style and non-fungible musician obviously relates to non-fungible token. Um, I found that a pretty cool design, but anyway, they rejected that. That, um, yeah, I don't understand why I need to follow up with them. Okay, the next one is life is better behind bars. That is a bicycle design, right? I did that because bicycle designs pretty much sell quite well. The next one is this motorcycle design here. Again, life is better behind bars, 
but I find that a pretty cool and, and, and funny um, slogan actually. And um, yeah, that's now up for sale. But again, the next one here is just a girl who loves orcas with a yeah a whale. I've personally say, sold some of these as well before, so I thought it would be a pretty cool niche. The next one here is I'd rather be skating with a skateboard. The next one is about family holiday in Cornwall. I picked that because, um, well, we go on holiday in Cornwall. I thought, you know, just pick something which not everybody's doing. Next one is this one here. And the last one, which I showed you already, I think that's pretty, actually the best design of all of these is I know it's lo-fi music. I love it, right? Now, personally, I would have thought, um, because these if these designs do not contain, do not contain that many pre-made graphics or designs. Um, they've actually been changed quite a lot from the elements that have been used, and they all differ um, in terms of their style, you know, and they're all different from each other. And also the niches, at least some of them, like the non-fungible musician, there are not many out there. Um, also Cornwall, you know, and the lo-fi music. I thought that that would all be pretty cool actually, but apparently it's not. But that was the whole intention of doing this, really to find out, you know, what do they consider unique and inspiring. Obviously, not five of these are not, um, well, more than five are not unique or inspiring or relevant. Um, I need to follow up about that one here, rejected. Uh, maybe it might change things if they um, sort of publish that and decide to publish it in the end, but maybe they don't. I don't know. Now, anyway, even though this account is now in Star Class 2, we will still try to get into Star Class 4 then fairly quickly. Um, it is obviously not easy with 200 designs published only, but um, yeah, I mean, on this channel here, we are going to document that and um, we're going to show you uh, how quickly you can potentially get into Star Class 4. As I said, I'm a bit disappointed, but I guess they are looking for really potentially really unique designs i'm not sure i'm not sure obviously the less designs you have so you have to start with 10 designs and if more than 50 percent are not what they believe would be good or unique or inspiring then they just put you in star class 2 you know which is fine in the end um however it would have been nice to show actually that uh, star class 3 in the end however spreadshirt i still think is a really good um platform and we will use the account, or especially my wife will use it to now test out print on demand for herself, which is pretty cool as well. And, and then we will see how it goes. Obviously, none of these designs here I've used for my um, business account. This is a completely different account, completely separate, which is also why we're actually happy to show these designs here because we see it sort of as a little bit of fun and challenge. And, you know, I don't take it too seriously. So if, if you have any critique about these designs, um, by all means, uh, you know, I'm not too bothered. They are, to be honest, we, we outsource the design process. I, I like all of these designs, to be honest. I like them all. And I don't understand why they didn't put their account to Star Class 3. But it is what it is. That's part of the game. Um, and I still find it quite um, interesting to share that on this uh, channel to also help you to, to you know, just show you the difficulties that can come up in this business as well from time to time. But, you know, that's the important thing. We're going to work through it and we'll be in Star Class 4 at some point this year. At least I hope so. I hope so. Um, if not, then early next year, I believe. But that just shows that print on demand is a marathon and um, it is not a sprint. So hopefully you liked the video. Hope you appreciate that we share these designs here because not everybody's doing that. And if you like this um, video, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this print on demand journey, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.